What's up, y'all? LT here, back with another video. So today is going to be another episode of parents who regret having kids. Actually, this particular story is a little bit different. So the parents really don't regret having the kids. It's just the uh, lady I'm going to discuss in this video today is actually she regrets the partner that she chooses to have the kids with. So that's a little bit different for today. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for for tuning in today. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you guys all for, for the love and support for the continued growth of this channel. I have about 1750 subscribers right now. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody. Um, shout out to the new subscribers. Please comment down below if you are a new subscriber. And also make sure that you uh, comment down below regarding this video and give your two cents on the situation. So just like normal, I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys the story. I'll put the link for the story as well in the description box. So please be sure to check that out if you want to read it by yourself. But uh, other than that, please make sure that you uh, comment below. Let me know what you think of the story and what would you do in, the, in case you were in that situation. Okay. So uh, the title of the story is called "Husband Finally Admitted to Baby Trapping Me." I always had my suspicions, but hearing him actually say it out loud was jarring to hear. He told me that on the one night we conceived our oldest, he got me really, really drunk while he stayed sober. While I was too drunk to even remember what happened, we had sex without a condom. Again, I don't remember this happening. I thought I got pregnant the day after because he said that the condom accidentally broke during sex. I asked him why he felt the need to do that. He said that he needed to get me pregnant because he was scared that I was going to party and leave him and live my life when I turned 21. He didn't want me to turn into a whore. We have three kids now. This is 10 years ago. While I don't necessarily regret my kids, I feel like my right to choose was taken away. I wanted an abortion with our second child for mental health reasons. He still mocks me about it to this day and even told our oldest daughter that I almost, that I almost aborted her sister. He guilted me out of getting one. I regret not having a carefree time in my entire adult life. When I got pregnant, I was only 20. My husband was 26. So he already got to have this, his whole fun college experience. Those would be my main regrets. My kids are really amazing, smart, and lovely humans. I have spent the entirety of my 20s making sure that they're well balanced and that they have a great childhood. However, I feel like I never want to be quote unquote me. I still don't know who I am. I had to grow up with kids and that's not easy to do. Oh, oh my god can y'all believe that like what would y'all do in that situation what if your spouse came up to you and said pretty much yeah i pretty much baby trapped you because i wanted to keep you around and and such and such reason like i know baby trapping can happen either way whether you're a man or a woman because i hear stories all the time especially from men saying that women also baby trap them so but th this scenario is, is regarding a woman so how would y'all feel because i i really don't have <laughs> much to say i'm kind of at a loss for words because the way he put it saying that he didn't want her to leave because she was quote unquote didn't want to turn into a whore during her 20s um like she wants to go out and party do her thing he pretty much trapped her because of that like i would be so upset like how would y'all how would y'all react in that situation what would y'all do would you confront the husband would you guys um I don't know. Would you guys talk to them? How would you guys do the situation? Because I'm sorry, I'm really at a loss for words because it's just I really feel the situation, especially when she mentioned that um, she felt like her youth was pretty much taken away, that she didn't have the the right to, in any kind of say because he got her drunk and he did whatever he did he needed to do to get her pregnant. So I think that's some effed up mess. <laughs> that's some effed up shit right there. I really, I'll be so upset. So. Let me know down in the comment section below. How did you guys react to that situation? I'll put the link for the story in the description box as well. If you're interested in participating in a child-free interview, let me know. Uh, send me an email at childfreeblackwoman at yahoo.com. I have openings available all month of September. So if there's a weekend that you're free that you want to go ahead and do a recording for the um, interview, let me know and we'll get that um, posted for you. So shout out to the child free gang once again i truly appreciate all of your love and support for this channel my channel is growing each and every day i'm getting brand new new subscribers and i truly appreciate all of your your love and support thank you for commenting on um, my community tab posts if you're following me on instagram or if you're not following me please make sure you do so child free bw i'm on instagram let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the video please give this video a thumbs up as well um please like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna check you guys out later in the later week okay i'll talk to you guys later bye